Hi there, Kelly Q204 here. Today I want to talk about Anne Frank's personality. Anne Frank's personality is hidden in her writing. Anne Frank was precocious about what she wrote. Anne wasn't shy about sharing how she felt with friends and family, but she was protective of her own feelings. I'm going to start with her mother, Edith. Anne Frank's mother, Edith, was a devout, reserved individual. Edith loved both girls. Edith had Anne's crib outside so Anne could look at what was going on around her. As time went on, Anne started to have a rebellious nature toward Edith because Anne didn't like the whole thing of Edith saying, don't do that. Or, why don't you just be more like your older sister, Margaret? Margaret and Anne were both smart girls in their own right. They got along okay, except that Anne was jealous of how imaginative slash being smart in math, socialization, and having a really good relationship with Edith, their mother. Anne Frank's father, Otto Frank, was really supportive of Anne's livelihood. She would go to Otto when Anne always had some problems at school, friends, her mother. Otto Frank wasn't too fond of the whole thing with Anne complaining about her mom with things that were just not really relevant. Otto Frank, though, helped out with a lot of Anne's problems with coming up with really good solutions. Now, I'm going to talk about a couple of Anne Frank's friends, Hannah Lee Gosler and her other good friend, Jacqueline. All three of them talked about books, movies, occasionally. One of the movies that she talked about that she got to see on her 13th birthday was Renton Tin The Lighthouse. I think. I think I said books. One of them would be a really good book that I talked about previously in another podcast. The book is called Droop to Hall by Sissy Van Markson. One of the subjects that Anne talked about a lot, her two friends, Jacqueline and Hanley, was sex. She was so fascinated with that, but all her friends were all like, please, inappropriate, talk to your parents. Anne was just all like, my mom doesn't want to talk about it. My dad doesn't even want to even go there. Anne Frank did have a male friend at school, Jewish Lyceum. His name was Helmert, or somewhere along those lines. Helmer always thought that she was very exciting, very vibrant. He even stated that he would definitely marry her if she survived the war. And Frank did refer to him as Hello, because he stated that he wanted to be referred to as Hello. I'm going to talk about everyone that actually worked in the office. Meet Geese, Beth Pascal, Mr. Kleinman, and Mr. Klugler. Now, I'm going to talk about the Van Pelses. The Van Pelses drove Anne nuts. Mr. and Mrs. Van Pels thought that Anne was a know-it-all. Peter, however, just thought that she was very lively. Meep Geese was another good friend. She helped out a lot and talked to Anne. Meep also said, and I quote, she was a very curious child. The very last person I want to talk about is Chris Pfeffer, also referred as Mr. Dussel. Mr. Dussel really means stupid in German. <laughs> yeah, that's what Anne was like. Oh, you are so stupid. That's how, you know, like, you know, like she referred to him as Mr. Stupid because he always complained. <laughs> He always was all like, no, I get to have, you know, like, I get to have this, and I, and I should be able to get that. No questions asked. <laughs> She's like, oh, don't you know that there's a whole thing of rules? Uh, considering that, uh, and was always like, are my manners really that bad? Mm, no, not really. I'm glad that I read this book. It's always been very entertaining and getting to know Anne Frank very well. Thank you so much for watching.